Okay, so here I am. I just pulled up to the dental office to get braces. I thought I'd make a whole video about this just to share my experience. I thought I'd let you know kind of how that went. So essentially, I wanted to get Invisalign, but I couldn't find a dentist who would do it because I said my case was too complicated and so I get, kept just getting referred and referred to all these orthodontists until finally I was referred to this one and she said, she, I was so grateful I found her because she was honest. She's like, I don't think you'll get the results you want with Invisalign. However, I know how to do it with braces. So if you trust me to do it with braces, we can do it that way. And I was like, okay, like, let's just do it. I'm just glad you finally took my case on because no dentist wanted to like work on my teeth. Um, and like, I don't even think they're that bad. I just have this one that's like recessed pretty badly. Like there is crowding for sure, top and bottom. I didn't think it was that extreme because I've already had dental work done and I've had um, a spacer so like my my mouth was widened and I did have Invisalign before and um, it just didn't stick because she told me that when I had Invisalign it moved this tooth um, from being like this to being like this but it didn't actually like move the root so what she's going to do is like pull the other teeth apart. So this route can come forward and I'll finally have a straight smile. So I'm really excited to get going. Did I want braces? No, I wanted Invisalign because I am trying to work on my music career and be filming all these things. Invisalign is obviously a lot easier to conceal, but I do want straight teeth. And since I'm still kind of getting my career off the ground. I'm like, I might as well just do it now and still work on things. And then hopefully by the time that I am successful and I'm making huge moves in my career, I'll be done and I'll just have perfect teeth. So it is weird getting braces as an adult. Like it's been 10 years since I had Invisalign and I thought like that was going to be it. I wish I had just gotten braces back then, but back then I was so set on being an actor and I knew I was like, if I get braces, I'm, I know I'm going to book an acting job and then I'll have to get the braces removed, so I have to get Invisalign. But obviously, I never booked anything other than background roles. So this year, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to let that stop me. But essentially, the process has been I came for a consultation. We talked through it. They looked at my teeth, decided if we wanted to proceed. I said, let's go ahead. And so I came back and they scanned my teeth and made a digital image of my teeth and they used that to go forward with figuring out how they were going to go about fixing my teeth and what was possible for me and then I came back I did dental impressions where they put like the plaster in your mouth for like 30 seconds top and bottom it was like the easiest part of this whole process the appointment literally took like 10 minutes altogether and so I just did that a couple weeks ago and then they took that impression of my teeth, printed a mold of my teeth so that they could get the braces all set up on that. So now they just have to transfer it from my like impression to my actual teeth. So it'll take less time, but I think it's still going to take a couple hours. I don't know because I've never gotten braces before and my appointment is in six minutes. So I'm going to go do that. Wish me luck. I'm a little nervous. Unfortunately, I woke up with a headache. So I'm like already... In discomfort and now I'm just gonna be even more discomfort so I'm putting my peppermint oil on I took some Tylenol because that's what they told me to take before and we'll see how it goes say goodbye to these teeth I'm gonna have pretty teeth and oh and that's the other thing as I said it's gonna take one and a half to two years so yeah I'm not stoked on that but I'm hoping that if I'm just really like vigorous and like on it and responsible with them that we can make it happen and hopefully it can just stick to the one and a half years and not have to do the full two. Yeah, so I'm getting really hot in my car. I'm gonna head in, check in, and get some braces. they are wow okay okay first of all obviously I'm having a hard time talking and I have a lisp now so 
that's fun. But the appointment, I'll say, was really easy, a lot easier than I was expecting. I was there for two hours, but I would say the actual working on my teeth part was only an hour and a half because the rest was just talking everything through. It was a lot easier than I thought, and like even when they had like my mouth open, I'll like insert some clips. It's not that bad. They have constant suction in your mouth so you're not like drowning in your own saliva. They essentially open my mouth out, rinse it out with something that tasted horrible, dried everything, and then once it was dry, they put some sort of glue on, and then they put the whole like upper row on the silicone mold that has each individual bracket on it, and it just sits up there, and then they have this gun, not gun, I don't know what to call it, but this like UV thing that sets, sets it, and then they can just like pull the whole silicone thing on and you have a whole row of braces. And they do that for the bottom as well. So, I have ceramic on the top. I, I would have preferred Invisalign, but this is the best they could do is give me ceramic ones on top. So at least they're like the color of my teeth and less noticeable-ish. <laughs> the problem with ceramic ones is that they are larger than the metal racket, so it's a bit more for your lips to glide over, which I'm def definitely noticing, and you can see me struggling with it now. And the other thing is, is they're much more fragile or much more likely to break, so you have to be careful. So another thing they did is they, they put that blue stuff in my mouth, so I can't close my mouth all the way because I have... I have like this weird direct bite. If I bite down right on it, like I could literally just chip off the brackets, which would be really, really bad. So I'm not allowed to close my mouth properly. So that's what those are for, to give that space. Honestly, I feel like that's one of the worst things. The worst part about it is not being able to close my mouth properly because it's really impacting my speech. I did try to eat a gluten-free, donut that was really soft and I basically just had to like chew it up with my tongue almost so <laughs> it's gonna be a learning experience but I got them on the process was easier than I thought and less painful than I thought I was really worried because I have TMJ and I already had a headache going in that I was just gonna be in the worst pain imaginable after but the pressure and the tension is really not that bad. I'm most curious about to see how it goes, the flossing. I'm nervous about that. But the good news they gave me is that like, if I'm super diligent about how I clean them and things like not, not drinking soda because soda coats like the wires and just makes it so they can't glide properly. So that's the reason why I don't drink soda. I don't drink soda anyway, that's not gonna be a big deal. But just like sugary drinks in general, just sort of minimizing that and keeping everything as clean as possible just kind of smooth the surface smooth smooth out the process and make it happen faster so i'm seeing this as a challenge to be like okay if i'm super dil diligent and practice good oral hygiene constantly hopefully i can make this process as easy as possible and as quick as possible and get these off my face so here's the problem i have to go to the studio tomorrow and I still can't talk properly, like I have this lisp. They told me I'd be able to sing and I can sing. But it is is definitely changing the way I can talk. See even just like that. Just this. But overall, it's okay. Um, it's something I can't handle. I just have to get used to it and give myself a chance to get used to it. Um I hope this is just a little bit informative to show you a little bit of what the process is like for braces. Getting braces as an adult is definitely a little embarrassing, but the cool thing was is my uh, orthodontist who put them on also had braces and she's like two years older than me, so that kind of made me feel better. Like I'm seeing a lot more people getting Invisalign or braces as adults and it's just like there's truly nothing to be embarrassed about because you're literally just taking care of yourself. But it is something we usually see on children instead, so it does just kind of make me feel a bit younger, and obviously my hair is in pigtails right now, but 
I'm just really excited at the prospect of having straight teeth and having my mouth opened up properly so that when I sing that there's space for the air to travel out and just create this beautiful clear crisp sound because I truly believe that well I know that my voice has my singing has been impacted by my tooth going back to where it was because when I had my teeth straightened previously as a teenager I was able to sound a bit clearer and just get have that perfect kind of opening so I'm really excited to get back there it's gonna take some time but I'm just really excited I go back in two months so I want to see what my progress is and I feel like once I start seeing progress I'll be um I guess just like more at ease with this process and once I know that it's kind of working and I start to see those changes develop but yeah I don't know I just want to make a quick video and show you my experience and obviously I don't know anything about this I'm not a disclaimer I'm not a doctor or any kind this is just purely my experience as a client and yeah anyway I hope I can figure out this talking thing so my vlogs aren't totally embarrassing from here on out but yeah okay thanks for watching guys mm -hmm.